Well, tonight, newly released video now finally helps explain exactly what happened when a sheriff's deputy was accidentally shot in the leg while attending a police funeral at Bankers Life Fieldhouse this past Saturday. Yeah, tonight, Mary Mills shows us why police are calling it a freak accident unlike anything they've ever seen. And I was like everybody else, couldn't understand how this could have occurred. How an officer's gun could have gone off during Southport Police Lieutenant Aaron Allen's funeral. And this is kind of the last section to be released. But Detective Tom Lynn says this security video helps show what happened. These two IMPD officers were three rows from the back waiting for the usher to release them. This is a row about to stand up right here. The officers entangle on one another. They're caught. And as they try to disentangle, the one officer's gun discharges, striking a Marion County deputy who was sitting behind him in the knee. And people are beginning to realize what happened and converge. With the deputy quickly treated and taken to the hospital, following what Lynn says. It appears to be what it is, you know, that it was purely an uh, unavoidable accident. We asked him and IMPD Sergeant Kendale Adams to show us what happened using an unloaded weapon. He says the two officers were shoulder to shoulder, one's holster up against the other's equipment belt. When they stood up, a piece of his equipment slid down into, slid down into the holster. Uh, and it's like I said, it's either a key or an antenna from a radio. And when they stood up, pulling that out, it caused the, uh, the trigger to be pulled and the weapon to be discharged. He says the bullet shot through the bottom of the holster and into the chair, yet when it cleared, the spent casing was still in the chamber. If the weapon was out of the holster in any way, that shell casing would have discharged. So this did its job. Um, it's just... Again, a, a very freak accident. As investigators are still running tests to make sure there was no malfunction or modification, but right now they say all signs indicate that it was completely unintentional with no negligent or mm. criminal acts by anyone. The deputy, by the way, is said to be recovering while at home, yeah. and the officer was back on duty today. Has this kind of thing ever happened before? I am told not that anyone remembers here in Indianapolis, but there are documented cases where keys, especially like handcuff keys, have gotten down in the wow. holster. And Detective Lynn said he even saw one case where strings from a hoodie somehow really? triggered. But, but again, very, very rare. Yeah, I'm glad no one was seriously yes. hurt. Thanks, Mary.